really sinking in more to who we are, like our authenticity, I think is a really great word to describe full moon energy in Taurus. So for this pick a card series, I want you to just take a moment, take a deep breath and choose one of the following piles. I have beautiful amethyst here in the first pile, the pumpkin in the middle, it is Halloween and an owl here um, at the end. Okay, so once you pick your pile, I'm going to reveal the cards. I have um, one starseed oracle, a um, psychic tarot oracle, and a tarot card that are just going to give you some energies for today. Um, now remember to check your birth charts to see where Taurus falls um, in your chart, both Taurus and Scorpio. Okay, so we're back and I'm going to get started with the reading. For those of you who picked the beautiful amethyst cluster, let's see what the cards reveal. So the first oracle card is karmic relationships, orient energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. So maybe some of you are coming out of um, karmic relationships, or maybe you have conflict in your current relationships. I think this is a really good time to heal those energies, being that it is Scorpio season. Um, being able to kind of do some shadow work. So... Shadow work is all about acceptance and accountability. So it could be that maybe you need to dive deeper into some behaviors that you have, some toxic cycles that you've been in that maybe could have contributed to these relationships that you're in. And this could be any kind of relationship, not just romantic, but any type of close relationship you have that is not very healthy. Okay. And um, yeah, just reflecting on those behaviors, reflecting on what blockages you have, anything that needs to be cleared. Maybe you're carrying old trauma from earlier in your life that really needs to be released. Now let's see what the psychic tarot card has it. Perfect. Moving on. So some of you could be moving on from a toxic relationship or you could be moving on from those toxic behaviors that I just mentioned. You're moving on from thinking that you're not good enough. You're moving on from self-sabotage. You're moving on from self-doubt, things like that. And that's beautiful energy, especially for a blue moon. Um, and yeah, I think this is great. Let's see what the tarot has. High Priestess. This is Piscean energy, but the High Priestess is the keeper of secrets. She is, um, she's above all of the queens even above the Empress. The High Priestess is like a master manifester. I consider her to be the feminine energy of the magician. So she can bring about things that are meant for her. High Priestess energy is really embodying who we are on a soul level. It is looking towards that North Node and doing what needs to be done to get to that place in your life during this current human experience. I think this is beautiful energy, you guys. Um, so if you pick this first pile, this amethyst cluster, I really see this as transformative energy. Um, I think just collectively, there is a lot of transformative energy in the cosmos, but more um, individually, I think this is you really choosing to move on, to really go into your heart center, to really take, take heed and value the karmic lessons that you've received from relationships that didn't work out. And you know, it's made you wise and now you're moving on, okay? Let's go to the second pile, the pumpkin. If you pick the pumpkin, your oracle, your start seed oracle is trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on, time is not running out, okay? So for those of you who feel maybe a little stuck or feel like you're behind schedule on a particular endeavor or a certain um, place you'd like to be in life, maybe you'd like to be married by now, maybe you thought you'd have children by now, maybe you thought you'd have that dream job by now, whatever, all the above. Um, this is spirit coming in to tell you that you're right where you need to be, okay? Continue to work on yourself, continue to do the self work that you have been doing, hopefully. If not, it's never too late to start that either. So maybe the messages for that as well is that, you know, maybe you're thinking like you could have healed a certain, you know, um, toxic situation or heal the past pain or, and you, maybe you've let it linger too long. It's never too late to dive into recovery for healing. And um, yeah, you're right where you need to be for a reason. Obstacles and challenges is the psychic tarot oracle. Okay. So maybe some of you are going through some deep things and you're thinking that the timing of it is just so off. Um, we can relate this to the collective, you know, the um, global situation, the pandemic, it really threw a lot of us off. We weren't expecting it. We, you know, we heard about it, but we didn't think it was going to go as long as it has. We didn't think a lot of um, like really serious changes or like, um, you know, extreme changes that have happened would have happened. And, you know, we really need to just trust the timing of everything that is happening. It's, it's for a reason. Um, some people saw this coming, you know, other star seeds, other mystics, you know, really prophesize this happening, but 
Um, you know, if this is more on, on an individual level, I think that this is like being able to kind of tapping into what I said in pile one actually is like using the lessons that you're, you're that are really being gifted to you from the universe to push through these obstacles and challenging. The timing is actually impeccable that, you know, what you're going through now is really here to service you sometime in the future. King of Wands. So yeah, you're going to be maybe making movement in the near future. King of Wands, it's fire energy. And this is a graceful leadership. The King of Wands is somebody who knows their intentions and they're setting out to um, really fulfill those intentions. They have no self-doubt. They're 100% secure in who they are and what they're about. And um, yeah, they're, they're not afraid to let other people know that as well. Okay, you guys, so these obstacles and challenges, it's prepping you, it's, it's strengthening you. And for those of you who picked the owl, hoot, hoot. <laughs> your star seed oracle is portal. Doors are opening, you decide. Rewards, wild card. Oh yeah, so you guys are manifesting for those of you who picked this owl card. Doors are opening. So if you've been doing the work, good things are on the horizon, especially now as Jupiter and Saturn are moving towards Aquarius. Financial material, I'm sorry, financial and material changes. Okay, so maybe some of you were under earning in the past or you kind of had some financial hardships, blockages, not really earning the amount of money you would hope to earn or just money coming in at a slower rate. Changes are coming in. Um, some people see these this energy as like, lack or like a um, unforeseen change i see this card this um oracle card here as a pivot um is that there are, there are going to be changes and it's really up to you to decide how th those changes go like whether or not you choose to see it as you know more more work more challenges or if you choose to embrace um the change as something that's really um sent from the universe because it's a portal opening up, right? I feel like this change is here, this change that's happening for you guys or that will happen or has happened, we're all on different timelines. It's causing doors to open. It's new opportunities coming in. You just have to, de to decide because that's literally what is here for you. You just have to decide how you're gonna move forward and are you gonna claim these changes as rewards or are you gonna see it as setbacks, okay? It's a wild card. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is the slowest moving knight of the deck. Pentacles energy is about the physical... Uh, possessions we have so our money our home our you know clothes car things like that things that we um can as things that we can claim as tangible objects um now because a knight of pentacles is slow moving i think that kind of feeds into the energies of the financial material changes because some of you who have been doing work for quite some time could be getting frustrated because like things aren't manifesting as quickly as you hope um but again as as things continuously progress, as you continue to work on yourself, um, hone your crafts, um, keep the faith, do the self work, doors will be opening, okay? Whether it's fast paced or slow paced, it's still, you know, rewards coming in. That's what I see, that's what I get intuitively, okay? So that's what I get for this blue moon energy. Um, now, obviously this is not all things that are gonna happen today. The moon energy will kind of linger for um, about a week or so. So if you have any of your rituals, definitely dive into those. And um, I definitely see this movement energy as being like the uh, the beginning of these of this these scenarios that you see here coming about. Okay, that's what I have for you guys for the pick a card series. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, the Ninth Cup Tarot on YouTube, please check it out. Subscribe. Look at any of the videos that. Um, relate to you and give it a like and comment if it resonates. Thank you guys so much. I'm still available for personal tarot readings as well as your soul purpose readings with your birth charts. Um, you can give me a DM here on IG or just go over to my website www.karinmyearwood.com and everything is right there. So thank you so much for being here. Be sure to thrive. Bye.